Mr. Riddle is an old-fashioned aristocrat. He invites a landscape designer, Bella, to do his chic country mansion. Okay. He says, your task is to plant seven trees. I will triple your paycheck if you find a way to plant exactly six rows of trees in a straight line. Also, each row should have three trees in particular. Do you have any idea how Bella can accomplish this task? Bella should plant three trees as the vertices of an equal triangle. Three more trees should be planted at the center of each side of the triangle. The last tree should be planted at the center, and voila! While working in Mr. Riddle's garden, Bella finds three hidden words. Can you see them too? There are three hidden words here, tree, farm, and plant. The local gardener is playing a quiz game. He keeps asking the same question to everyone he meets, but each time, the answer is different. Can you guess the question? The question that the gardener asks is, what's the time? Later that night, Bella is heading to the local nightclub. On the way, she spots three mistakes in the picture below. Can you see them too? December 32nd doesn't exist. There's no green light at the traffic signal. And this trolley doesn't have any rails. Oh. Bella's boyfriend, Tyler, is performing a show with his dancing group at 11 p.m. Ah. Bella is a little late. So, when she enters the nightclub, she sees Tyler and his crew on the stage. They're dancing in a straight line. At this very moment, Tyler is standing in the fourth position from both the front and back ends of the row. Can you figure out the number of dancers? There are seven people in Tyler's dancing group, including himself. Tyler was the fourth from both ends, which means three dancers were at the front and at the back. After the performance, Bella is wandering around the club and sees these two guys in the VIP section. Can you tell who's fake? The guy on the left, his reflection doesn't say anything, but the guy on the right is wearing a suit and has some cash in his pocket so he's probably just having a bad day. The next day, Bella receives an invitation to have dinner with Mr. Riddle. Bella agrees and arrives at his house in the evening. She enters the dining room and spots four weird things right away. Can you see them too? This candle has a purple flame. Someone is peeping through the eyes in this portrait. This fireplace burns without any wood. And finally, both hands of Mr. Riddle are left. During the dinner, Mr. Riddle tells Bella, I'm so grateful for your work. I decided to give you a gift if you managed to crack my puzzle. So listen carefully. I can be broken, even if you never pick me up or touch me. What am I? Can you help Bella solve this mystery? The correct answer is a promise. Bella cracks the riddle and receives the promised gift from Mr. Riddle. The gift has lots of keys, but it can never open a door. Oh. What is it? The correct answer is a piano. Bella enters Mr. Riddle's library. Suddenly, he locks the door. The windows are locked too, so Bella is trapped inside the room. She looks around and finds a secret exit. Yes! Can you see it too? Take a look at the floor. There's a door to the basement hidden under the carpet. In the basement, Bella finds a door that leads outside, but it's locked and requires a five-digit password. Do you have any idea how to open it?
The note on the wall has a hint. Each image contains a different number of colors. The rainbow has seven colors. The cloud, one. The bird, four. And so on. So the correct password is 17421. Bella escapes from Mr. Riddle's house and gets lost in the woods. There are three possible ways to cross this area. Unfortunately, only one is safe. Can you guess which one? Bella should pick the second path to survive. Bella arrives at the nearest village in the mountains. Hello. She enters the local diner to call the police, but she regrets her decision as soon as she gets inside. Huh. Why? This is a vampire village. None of the customers eats anything. And also, she's the only person who casts any shadow here. Huh. Bella runs away to the mountains and finds three tunnels. Unfortunately, each path is hiding some danger. There's a cage with hungry lions behind the first door. The second tunnel is filled with gas that's very toxic for any human. And there's a giant dragon waiting inside the third tunnel. Can you help Bella choose the safest option? Bella should choose the first tunnel. The lions are in the cage, so she can just walk by and escape. Now Bella needs to cross a fast-flowing mountain river by jumping from stone to stone. She struggles with choosing the last step. Can you help her? Each stone has a particular number. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, 16. This sequence is formed by adding the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, the remaining stone should be 16 plus 6. So Bella should choose the stone 22. Finally, Bella finds a highway. Three people offer to give her a run, but only one of these guys is reliable. Can you guess who? The second guy's car has no license plate and it's been painted recently, so the car is probably stolen. Take a closer look at the third guy's hand. He's a zombie! So Bella should choose the first guy. Bella arrives home and finds out that someone had robbed her apartment. She calls the police and questions three neighbors. Ryan says, I think I heard weird noises from your apartment two hours ago, but I thought it was your TV. Peter says, uh, I noticed a suspicious delivery guy near your door about an hour ago when I was taking out the trash. And Emma says, I've just arrived from my business trip in London. I don't know what happened here. Hmm. Who's lying? Peter said he took out the trash an hour ago, but he still has a full garbage can in front of his door. And the flies around it tell us that this bag has been here for a while. Therefore, he's a liar. The next day, Bella enters a supermarket to buy some food. The manager complains that someone had stolen a watermelon. Oh, no. Bella spots the thief right away. What about you? This fake basketball player is the thief. The ball shouldn't have any zip. Bella is walking down the street. She passes by three guys who are busy washing their cars. In a while, Bella realizes that her wallet is gone. She returns to the guys and asks, Has anyone seen my wallet? All three guys answer no, but one of them is a thief. Can you guess who? It's the guy on the left. The level of water in his bucket increased after he threw Bella's wallet into it. Bella approaches the parking lot and finds out that someone had stolen her car. She calls the police. The officers begin to chase the thief. The light over the license plate of Bella's car isn't working. Also, the police car has a faulty headlight. But eventually, the officers succeed in catching the thief and return the car to Bella. How did they manage to catch the criminal? Yes. Do you have any ideas?
It was daytime, therefore they didn't need any headlights or lights over the license plate. Bella comes home and opens her fridge to grab some snacks. Right away, she begins to yell at her boyfriend. Tyler, you ate my food again! Tyler replies, no I didn't. Can you guess who's lying by looking at these two pictures? Tyler, he took these five items from the fridge. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Kira is a very independent young lady. Yeah. Two years ago, she moved into a one-story house in Alaska. Since then, she's been living there with her dog. Her house is made of sandstone, and it's pretty cozy and warm. Can you guess the color of the stairs inside? There are no stairs in a one-story building. One day, Kira went to town to buy some dog food and meet with her sister, Mia. They went for a walk and stopped in front of these two houses. In each house, a family with two pets, with dogs or cats, lived there. Kira told Mia two facts about those houses. On the left, the family has a dog that likes dry food, but the other pet loves canned food. And the family in the house on the right has a seven-year-old dog and a newborn pet. Mia asked Kira, do both families have a cat? Kira replied, I'm not sure, but if you manage to guess the house with the cat, I'll give you $100. Can you guess which family is more likely to have a cat? Okay, let's analyze this. The house on the left offers us three possible scenarios. A younger cat and an older dog, a younger dog and an older cat, or just two dogs. We can't consider a cat-cat option because Mia mentioned that there was at least one dog in that house. Now, all these three options are equally possible, and two of them include cats. So the chances of a cat living in that house are two out of three. As for the house on the right, there are two possible scenarios. Since we already know that the older pet is a dog, here's the first possibility. The younger pet is a cat and the older animal is a dog. And the second possibility suggests that there are just two dogs. So, here, the chances are one in two. That's why Kira should choose the house on the left. This way, her chances of winning are higher. Mia invited Kira to visit her workplace. She's a manager in a luxury resort hotel. The building has seven floors. Five people are now staying in the rooms on the first floor. And on each next floor, there are three people more than on the previous floor. Can you figure out which floor the elevator is called most often? To the first floor. Any person living not on the first floor has to call the elevator to get to their room. Will is a famous billionaire. He decided to stay in the best room in the hotel. He's got three gold bars that weigh four, two, and one pound respectively. The charge for the room is one pound of gold per day, and the hotel staff don't accept any advanced payments. Will wants to stay at the hotel for seven days. How can he pay for the room? Here's the scheme. On the first day, Will should give them his one pound bar. On the second day, he should give the two pound bar and take his one pound gold bar back. On the third day, Will should pay with the one pound bar again. And on the fourth day, the guy should give the four pound bar and take both the one and two pound gold bars back. On the fifth day, he can pay with the one pound bar. On the sixth day, he can give them the two pound bar and take the one pound bar back. And finally, on the seventh day, Will should pay with his last one pound gold bar. Will offered Mia a deal. If you crack my riddle, I'm going to give you the biggest diamond from my collection. Ah. He arranged these matchsticks in a square, which contained four smaller squares. Can you remove only two matches so that there's only two squares instead of the five? Mia nailed it right away. What about you? Here's the solution. 
you have to remove these matchsticks, and voila, you have only two squares left. Then Will offered Kira an opportunity to win a fortune. There are 100 precious red stones and 100 simple white stones in his collection. The billionaire gave the girl two different bags labeled heads and tails. She can put the stones wherever she likes. Then, Kira has to flip a coin and choose a stone from the corresponding bag, heads or tails. If it's a red one, she will receive all the precious stones, but if she picks a white stone, she'll get nothing. How should Kira distribute the stones to increase her chances of winning? If she puts just one red stone in one bag and all the other stones in another, her chances of winning will be 3 in 4. Let's wish her luck! There are both humans and werewolves in the lobby of this hotel. They look very similar, so you can't identify who is who by their appearance. Both people and werewolves tell either only the truth or only lies. These two handsome gentlemen came up to Mia and Kira. Adam said, Bill is a lying werewolf and I'm a human. And Bill said, Adam is telling the truth. Can you help Kira and Mia decide who these two guys really are? We know that they cannot tell half-truths. So, Adam's statement is only true if both parts of it are true. Let's suppose that Bill is an honest human. Then Adam should be honest too. But Adam called Bill a liar, which creates a conflict. It means that Bill's statement cannot be true. So Bill is a liar. Hmm. And knowing that, we can conclude that Adam is a liar too. But what about their nature? Are they humans or werewolves? Adam's first statement is a lie, which means that Bill is not a werewolf. Therefore, Bill is a lying human. And the second part of Adam's statement means that he's a lying werewolf. Adam and Bill invited Kira and Mia for dinner. When they asked the ladies about their parents, Kira replied, We have the same father and mother, and we are both born on the same day. Adam asked, Are you twins? Mia replied, Nope, no we're not. How can this be possible? Have you guessed? Kira and Mia are not twins. They're two of a set of triplets. They have a third sister, Sophie. Hi. Kira and Mia went to the swimming pool. They saw 10 swimmers chilling on sunbeds near the pool. Two of them decided to jump into the water. How many swimmers remain near the pool at that moment? Ten. The two swimmers might have decided to get into the water, but it doesn't mean they've done it. Kira entered a very small dressing room. There were four cats sitting in four corners. There were three cats across from each cat. And at each cat's tail, there was one more cat. Can you tell how many cats there were in the room? The room was very small. Each cat was sitting near the tail of the cat from the neighboring corner. In the ladies' room, Mia met this weird woman standing in front of the mirror and applying some lipstick on her forehead. Can you guess what's going on? She's trying to make up her mind. In the basement of the hotel, Mia and Kira found a barrel with no lid and some milk in it. Kira said, Whoa, this barrel of milk is more than half full. Oh. And Mia said, no, it's not. It's less than half full. Yes. Without any measuring tools or pouring any milk out of the barrel, how can they easily determine who's right? They should tilt the barrel until the milk touches its lip. If the bottom of the barrel is visible, it's less than half full. And if the bottom is still completely covered with the milk, then it's more than half full. A large group of students came to a scientific conference held at the hotel. 280 students study chemistry, 254 students study physics, and 280 students study biology. At the same time, 97 students study both chemistry and physics, and 138 students study both physics 
and biology. And 152 students study chemistry and biology. Also, there are 73 students who study all three subjects. Can you figure out the total number of students at the conference? Take a look at this Venn diagram. Now, it's obvious that the total number of students is 500. Mia gave Kira three shoe boxes labeled red, blue, and red and blue. She said, I labeled the boxes incorrectly. You can only open one box of your choice and then label the boxes correctly. If you do it, I'll give you all these shoes. Can you help Kira label the boxes? Kira should opt for the box labeled red and blue. Since the boxes are labeled incorrectly, this box will contain either red shoes or blue shoes. Let's suppose that Kira found red shoes inside the box. Now she can remove the red label from the wrong box and put it on the correct one. Meanwhile, the box labeled blue cannot have blue shoes inside. Neither can it contain red shoes. It means the blue box must contain both red and blue shoes. Now, Kira has only one remaining box that she can label as blue. And if inside the red-blue box there's a pair of blue shoes, Kira can use the same logic to label the remaining shoes. Take a look at the table. How many matches can you see? Eight. Here they are. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.